So we want to make sure that we're not allowing anybody, any toxic person, any toxic relative. Joseph's life teaches us, I hate to say this, but in route to your assignment, you may have to overlook the disrespect of a loved one. His brothers disrespected him. You look at David, his brothers disrespected him. You look at James, that's my man, the book of James. He didn't even become a Christian until after Jesus, his half-brother, died. This is James. You may have to overcome the disrespect of a loved one en route to your assignment. This is what Joseph did. And I love this next principle. Joseph's life teaches us now, when you read the story, you're going to see, when he gets to Genesis 41, Pharaoh makes him in charge of all of Egypt. He's running the show. He's the man. He's got power. He snaps, people jump. But you know what Joseph's life teaches us? God may not allow you to get to the top until you have the grace not to seek revenge on those who hurt you on the way up. God may not allow you to get to the top unless you have the grace not to seek revenge on those who hurt you on the way up. You know when Joseph got to the top, his brothers are like, oh man, we done did it. We done did it. And Joseph could have been salivating, saying, oh yeah, boy, them butts are mine now. Throw me in a pit, put blood on my coat. Mrs. Potiphar, you lied on me. Butler, you forgot about me. But his life teaches us that God may not take you to the top until you have the grace to forgive those who hurt you on the way up. For many of us, subtly, we want to get to the top to vindicate ourselves and validate ourselves. And I'll show my ex and I'll show that boss who laid me off and I'll show that sister who didn't believe in me and I'll show that absentee father who wasn't around and I'll show that overbearing. No. His life teaches us that God may not take you to the top until you have the grace to forgive those who hurt you on the way up. See, his life teaches us that there's a difference between bitterness and betrayal. Betrayal's on the outside. Bitterness is on the inside. Betrayal is something someone does to you, but bitterness is something you do to yourself. And the enemy's goal is always, always, always to turn up a trail into a bitterness. That way he can move on in your self-sabotage. 